let's move on to Diddy and the staggering amount of new sexual assault civil claims being filed against him. There are now more than 20. And a warning, many of the details are disturbing. Anything I do is through God. A personal trainer claims that in 2022, at an after party on the night of the BET Awards, Diddy spiked his drink, sexually assaulted him, and then later, he claims that his drugged body was passed around like a party favor for sexual enjoyment. I love y'all, peace. In another filing, a woman claims Diddy raped her after she met him at a party attended by Mary J. Blige, Little Kim, and Nicki Minaj in Las Vegas. To be clear, the stars are not accused of any wrongdoing. The alleged victim claims she woke up groggy and sore and, quote, was horrified to realize that she was raped by Combs. Diddy has denied all the allegations. We're seeing the same pattern of sexual violence. The victim meets Diddy at a party, they're given a drink, and that drink is allegedly drugged. The next thing they know, they wake up with a vague memory of being sexually assaulted. All this is Diddy's son Quincy drops a teaser for a reality show about his family drama. In the footage shot before Diddy's arrest, the 54-year-old can be seen briefly smiling in the kitchen during a family vacation with his kids. All the success all in one, you know what I mean, to just salute them at the end of the day. Diddy's family, they're pursuing both a legal and a public relations strategy, both inside and outside the courtroom. Jurors are going to want to see that Diddy has the support of his family, and I expect those kids to be sitting behind him every day of trial. 